All right, what's going on everybody? Gabby Card Stacks here. This is part two of my mail day extravaganza. I've had over 40 packages this week. I was out of town, got a bunch, spreading it out. Let's just get right to it. Hopefully you learned something today. All right, first one up, Hannah Hidalgo Green. It just came in between two pieces of cardboard here. Um, to 99, 31 and 99. Been buying a ton of Hannah Hidalgo. I, there was a ton of my previous mail day. Hopefully looking to grade some. I do like the green and the blue just for the color match sake. Um, and we'll be looking to grade some of these. So we'll see. Um, I'm looking over my phone right now. So uh, nothing glaringly obvious. It might, might actually uh, be something. Uh, we'll see. But there's package number one for you. All right. Here we've got Dane Key, Gold Auto. You know, looking back on this, uh, not a card that I particularly want because i did pick up a sapphire not long after this i think it was like 15 16 shipped no problem if you know i sell it for 19.99 but uh just buying into kentucky a little bit with brock vandegrift in case i am wrong about him i do like barry and brown dane key you know the number two there gold can't go wrong with gold autos so Bought this at auctions first, and then I saw the Sapphire, and I was like, you know what, I think I do want the Sapphire. Oh God, this thing is all scratched up right there. Brutal. Um, not that I, I'm not like super high on, you know, wanting to grade this, but that is, that's tough. Um, then I bought the Sapphire because I like the color match. I asked Cam's cards, and I was like, which one would you rather have? And he's like, Sapphire. Yeah, I think, for me, color match over everything, to be honest. I would rather have just something that looks clean um, and, you know, just, uh, I don't know, has more eye appeal, I guess, compared to a gold to someone who doesn't collect cards and, like, doesn't know what gold or, like, the significance of it. I'm like, eh. All right, this I feel like I bought a while ago. Bought it at auctions for, like, two bucks. Kobe Bryant, number to 100, hand numbered. I think this is the only card, you know, one thing that's, uh is interesting going forward you know sage i don't know came out in like february ish and that had a ton of new guys that haven't been in bowman university that hadn't just had any cards even like from on it or any off-brand unlicensed stuff um but then leaf came out in the last like month or two with leaf metal football and leaf vivid and all these other products wild card is out now i'm i feel like i'm blanking on it. pro set was another one that came out in like march ish so Sage, eh, I don't know. We'll wait and see. It's a great value. I think you get like 24 autos for like 120 bucks. So that's cool. Um, we'll see. I, I don't know. Just with Leaf, you know, having the metal chrome cards plus a lot of good numbering. Like here, it's really just base autos and hand numbered. You know, some one-on-ones and such. But um, yeah, Kobe Bryant should be one of the top corners in the country. I really like him. Um, just a dog of a playmaker there. I like Kansas. We'll see what happens. That was a couple bucks, you know, relisted for $9.99, and we'll see what happens. Ah, uh, yes. I was reading the invoice here. Uh, Jacob Cowing Sapphire Auto. So this I bought a little bit off of FOMO. I just saw some, some tweet about him, and I was like, you know what? I really do believe in Jacob Cowing, and I don't have the Sapphire, the base Sapphire Auto left. Sapphire Autos, you just don't see them a whole lot, and... For, I think this was under 20 bucks. I think $17 all in. I might as well pick it up. I do believe in him. He is a, a very great player. Been productive at every single school that he's been at. And uh, I really hope he does well in San Francisco. All right, along with all that Hannah Hidalgo, I did buy some Michaela Williams SEC Freshman of the Year. Uh, they've got some turnover at LSU, but they've still got some of their big players uh, coming back, I think Michaela is going to be one of those. Um, Anissa Morrow and Flage Johnson will be uh, their two, their top two, you know, scores. But I'd say Michaela is right there with them. So uh, we'll look to grade that. I think I already saw a little mischief right there. So unfortunate, but uh, chalk it up to the game, I guess. I, I'm I'm a little not peeved about the Dane Key, but um, that one is pretty brutal. All right, Donovan Smith, Sapphire. His market's been going crazy. He's just been all over Twitter on like the, oh, he's he's a guy who could jump up. We've seen it before with Anthony Richardson and all these other guys. We didn't see it with Joe Milton, which I really thought was gonna, that's a nice little scratch over his knee. Ungradable. 
Um, would really like to find a, a clean copy. I love the Sapphire with the uh, updated jersey and his Bowman Chrome, it's his Texas Tech jersey. Do you want the Texas Tech jersey or a very bad Photoshop? I don't know, um, but I like the Sapphire for that reason. So been looking, been stashing. I picked up a ton on Comp C a, a while ago for like a dollar fifty a piece, um, and then he really started picking up. And you can find just about, you know, every other tweet. I feel like if you search his name, is like, oh, he's my sleeper as like the number two pick. He could, you know, shock. He he's the guy who's going to shock everybody. We'll see. Um, Houston will be the worst team in the Ace or in the uh, Big Twelve this year for sure. Love the vids. Keep it up. Well, thank you. I appreciate it. Another Donovan Smith. I did buy quite a few uh, when I first. I think it was the PFF image, and it was like top ten quarterbacks of the class, and he was in there. And I was like, God, is this really like a thing? Is this really, you know, is the hype coming? So, just buying, you know, two three dollars a piece. Similar to what I did with like Tetro McMillan, Jalen Daniels, uh, Carson Beck, buying the floor up on Sapphire, especially with Donovan because of the updated jersey. This is going to be kind of his first true card. Uh, just all this junk right there. Brutal. I mean, not the worst that we've seen out of this bunch, but I, I would deem that uh, ungradable. But we'll see. Um, all right, let me scoop this around. All right, this was a nice one here. Jaden Ott, Gold Auto, 50 of 50. Uh, I don't know what, you know, prompted me to buy this. And I was like, you know what? I think it was like 30 bucks. I think I sent an offer out for like 26. Got it done. 32 bucks all in, gold color match. Uh, I don't mind Cal. I think they could be sneaky or competitive. I think they've got some pieces on offense that, you know, I don't think that they're going to be terrible. Road games or I guess home games for them, having teams travel all the way across the country. I don't know, it could be a little trap game, and I think they could steal a game on, on the road against a Boston College and Virginia and all those schools. So you know, could make a bowl this year. All right, phew, I am sweating. That thing was triple bubble wrapped. Um, Paige Beckers, I've been buying a ton of hers. I am very bullish, especially on the Sapphires, like the color match. So there was an issue with this order. I think it was made right. Let me know if, if you think I... Uh, I messed up and I should have just taken the refund, but I won two of these at auctions, two PSA 10s for like 56 bucks shipped. Um, so like 110 all in and felt good about it. And then it took a while to ship. Um, not that I was concerned, I was out of town. Um, and then it shipped and I'm like, oh, I'm curious on, I don't know, the movement, nothing happened, the label was generated. Then I get a message saying, hey, I think I've already sold this one. I can't find it. Um, and you can kind of go back through their auction. You kind of see they, they graded a ton of page backers. So, um, he was like, Hey, I can offer you this, uh, what was it? Like a PSA nine pink, um, and a Sapphire and a couple bait or like a refractor. Um, and then he offered this, uh, a PSA 10 base. I, I imagine these aren't gradable because they, they had a ton of auctions ending, um, so I imagine these are kind of the ungradable copies, but um, I felt like this was fair value to go 50. I think this is great value at $56, especially with where prices have kind of gone over the last week. I feel like I've seen some PSA 10s go up to kind of the $40, $50 range. These do anywhere from 10 to 20, a base probably five bucks. So I think value-wise, I got it. I would have much rather have preferred the PSA 10 Sapphire, but I think, you know, compared to a $60 refund or these four, I think I make up the value, especially where prices have gone in the last month. So uh, I was happy with that. It is annoying, but I get it. I've been there before. We've all been there before where, you know, you sell a card and you're like, oh man, I cannot find this card. Whatever, I'll take it. And I think I got, you know, plenty more value. Huh. I don't, I mean, I'm Sure, I don't, oh, I don't know. I don't know how much I would have paid for this. I feel like anytime there's a Noah Fafita 101, I'm like, all right, I'll bid up to like 40 bucks for it. And then when I'm not the top bid, I'm like, all right, well, maybe it's 41. Well, maybe it's 42, 46. And then I just kind of get myself in trouble. But 101s, you know, whatever. Armed and dangerous, nice little gold there. Noah Fafita, I, I hope I didn't pay. I, mm, I imagine... I went up to $52, hopefully 60 all in. I definitely wouldn't have bid over $56. I definitely wouldn't have, right? 
All right, and this one shipped. This is, uh, yep, okay, perfect. I, I, I'm shocked this made it, to be honest. Um, this is a select Rob Gronkowski, Tampa Bay gold, 10 of 10. I saw, I have a gold Arizona Wildcats, Rob Gronkowski, all sorts, Scooby Wright, like all, all these kind of miscellaneous U of A players. I'm like, hey, if I see a gold, I'll pop up, I'll, I'll buy it. Um, Rob Gronkowski comes up all the time, um, just from all his various years of product. Saw this and it was like 10 or $11, maybe 13 after tax and everything. Um, and you could tell it was a... Uh, new uh, was a new account zero feedback and I think the rest of the listings were like sports cards prism 2023 you know base card only two dollars like that was the listing or all their listings were like only two dollars or whatever so you know I'm like I'm protected by eBay uh, I'm gonna give it a shot um, and see what happens and it didn't ship for the for a while for the longest time uh, so glad it showed up um, would be cool to grade. I know die cuts are tough on the edges and such. Um, I'll look it over again. Uh, I feel like when I'm editing the videos, I'm like, oh God, how did I not, uh, catch that? Um, I don't know, maybe a little dimple at the top. Um, and then I'm going to botch this. So definitely. Oh, got it. Oh, ooh. okay. There we go. Um, so yeah, that was, that was kind of crazy. I don't know. I didn't even check comps. I was like, that's gotta be a good price. Um, so we'll see, uh, what that looks like, but Gronk to 10, Tampa Bay, Super Bowl champ. I was shocked it shipped, it, it shipped, so that was a win for me. Um, let's do a little recap here, a lot of sapphire, a lot of just prospecting. I feel really good about where prices are right now to buy, um, and of course buying to grade a little bit more now, so... I'll take it. Jade and not little gold. That was like 30. Donovan, I'm hoping I can find one clean copy of his Sapphire. Michaela, a little Jacob Cowing. That'll go in PC. Kobe Bryant, one of the best corners. Dane Key, I should be getting a Sapphire in one of my next few mail day videos. Um, so I'll probably get rid of that, and especially with all that damage right there. Uh, Hannah Helgo Green, I love the color match on those. Rob Gronkowski, 101. And then Paige Beckers, the... Uh, makeup for the missing sapphire so buying graded it just makes sense at some of these prices i mentioned it before you're paying 15 ish dollars we'll say for the sapphire 20 bucks to grade you're at 35 dollars you know, who's you know i can't find a clean copy to save my life right now so i'll just buy the 10 i truly think that that could be like 150 dollars come peak season and and everything um, that comes with kind of the, the mania of March Madness. So that's everything. Got uh, three more mail day videos. If you enjoyed, drop a like, leave a comment, subscribe, and we'll see you in the next video. Peace.